Hey guys, welcome to Russell's Outdoors. A couple weeks ago, I was messaging back and forth with a fellow YouTuber by the name of Alex. Now, Alex's channel is Outdoor55. Please check out Alex's channel. You guys won't regret it. Alex is hilarious, man. The guy's a hoot. Uh, he does a lot of backpacking videos, does a lot of gear review, especially on obscure backpacking stuff, which is uh, uh, I, I truly appreciate it because you don't see a lot of that stuff out there. Uh, but anyways, he had made a series of videos of camera equipment that he had purchased and returned. And uh, we were kind of, like I said, messaging back and forth. He'd asked me what I was using. And uh, I, you know, I'm like, you know, I do got to make a video of the camera equipment that I have too, just to maybe help out other YouTubers out there. Uh, and so I have a whole table full of the stuff that I began with to what I'm currently using right now and shooting with. Uh, so please stay tuned and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Restless Outdoors. Okay, guys, here's some of the equipment that I have on the table in front of me. Uh, so when I first started this uh, YouTube channel uh, and, uh, and really started backpacking, I really wanted to document uh, a lot of my uh, trips that I was going to do because I knew that a lot of the places I was going to, they're just going to be gorgeous places, and I really want to have that memory and also share it with you guys too. So when... I ultimately decided, okay, which camera am I going to get? I, I right away ran to uh, get the GoPro. Now, this one right here is the Hero Plus version of the GoPro. It was a lower-end model. Uh, it's the Hero Plus, uh, and then they have the Hero Plus LCD, which actually has the display on the back. I didn't care about the display because I was more or less uh, concerned about battery life. And this one did not have that display, so I figured the battery was going to last a lot longer. This camera served me very, very well. Uh, in addition to backpacking, I always took this with me kayaking. You can see those videos that I have too. And I never really had to worry about uh, uh, getting this thing wet. Uh, and the picture quality was great. In my opinion, uh, for a camera this size, something this lightweight, it just really, uh, uh, again, just kind of steered me towards getting this. Uh, but the biggest downfall with this particular camera uh, is the audio quality. Uh, especially once you encase it in its waterproof uh, housing, uh, it's almost non-existent. Uh, it, it sounds like you're talking in a tin can that you can barely hear. Uh, but I'm sure many of you have experience with the GoPros and that's kind of like, ugh. So uh, the other unfortunate thing with this one, you could not get the external mic uh, uh, adapter on here. This one uh, uh, just doesn't have the option to do it. So. That was a big bummer. Uh, that was, I noticed a lot of my videos were lacking uh, uh, the sound quality. So that was it. Uh, I kind of had to put this on the back burner. Uh, I still use this camera though uh, today and, uh, and I use it for a lot of my uh, time lapse uh, 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 shots. Yes, can I help you? I know she wants to go outside. Hold on, let me go take her outside real quick. Okay, so like I said before, time lapse, Awesome. Set this guy uh, down anywhere you want. Hit that uh, 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 time lapse uh, button on here uh, in the menu settings and just let it go. And really, that's the only thing I use this camera for. I may use it when I'm kayaking too if I don't want any audio. Again, this thing does take great uh, uh, video. Um, so that's kind of where I had to decide okay, what did I want to get? So the next thing was obviously my phone. Uh, right now, I have the, this is the Samsung uh, uh, S7 Edge. It's an okay phone. I had the Note 7. Loved that phone. That phone was amazing until they had all those recalls with the batteries and stuff. But the video quality on this is awesome. On any, any Samsung phone, even iPhones. I've seen many phones out there. Uh, the iPhone, the 6 Pluses, the 7s takes amazing, amazing video. Uh, but again, uh, where you're lacking uh, uh, on these uh, devices is the audio. Now, there are solutions to that. Uh, one of them is the uh, video uh, mic me by uh, Rode uh, microphones. Uh, this here, uh, and basically what it comes with is, it's, it's this. Uh, there is, this is actually the microphone itself and a little bit of that dead cat hair on there. Uh, but this is, this is wonderful. This just essentially clicks in and then you can adjust it. And now you have 
uh, audio quality uh, that is far superior than what uh, uh, is included with the phone itself. Um, this is great. I've used this more or less if I'm, uh, uh, again, using it to do videos like this. Uh, I can get the camera really up close. Uh, and uh, again, the sound quality with something like this is an upgrade. Uh, but something better than this, uh, which I like to use, is a uh, like a lapel mic. And uh, I'll show you that real quick. Okay, sorry, I had to go back. I, I always forget I got more stuff for this because again, audio is huge, right? When you're doing audio in your videos, uh, that's very important in my opinion. Uh, the picture can be great, uh, the, the content can be great, but if you can't hear the content or you can't hear people talking uh, and, and you have a hard time, it just takes away, I think it diminishes the video itself. So I do invest a lot in uh, 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 Microphone qual or microphone upgrades uh, because again you can't simply rely on the the equipment that you have. There's always a better solution, so I would always opt for that better solution. So with that said, this is uh, called the iRig Mic Lav, and this is the Lav Mic, and basically uh, it's just a a regular uh, Lav Mic that you clip to uh, your uh, shirt or whatever. This one I like in particular, and I'm going to put all the links in the description below of all the equipment, but this one, I don't know if you can really see, it's, it's got a pretty lengthy cord, uh, but again, you're limited. So if you want to do those shots where you're kind of like away from uh, the camera, uh, what I ended up buying is, uh, this is the Rode SC1. Uh, this is the TRRS extension cable. This is about a 20 foot long cable that you would attach to this. And then now you can kind of get that shot uh, that you're far away from the camera and you're not shouting or anything, you've got the lapel mic right there. So that's one of the things that I bought. Uh, this thing is, what the heck is this? Oh, I'm sorry, this is the box for this. Okay, so this is, yeah, this is the box. This is the iRig Mic Lav. So came in this box, like I said, it's cheap too. It's not really expensive, but I think this is a, a great uh, alternative to this right here, this uh, uh, Video Mic Me. This is good for when I'm doing vlogging, I'm walking, because I really don't want to have all these cables, you know, around me and stuff. I, I want to be able to put the, the selfie stick down if I need to, not have to disconnect, uh, you know, cables. This is a great option right here. And again, uh, having this uh, dead cat on here really does reduce the, uh, the wind noise. So now what we have here too is another GoPro. Now, this is not my GoPro. This is uh, uh, my friend, Timmy. Uh, you've seen my many videos. He purchased this. Uh, and actually, we just used this particular one on the Laura Highlands trip. This is the uh, GoPro uh, Hero 5. Awesome camera. I love it. Uh, the fact that you don't need an external case uh, for uh, uh, the camera itself, it's completely waterproof out of the box. So you don't lose your audio quality uh, and so on and so on. The, the picture quality, I think, is, is, is great. It's far superior than the older uh, GoPro. Um, but... Uh, uh, the nice thing about this is the fact that you actually have the uh, ability to, um, now she wants to come back in. See, that's my wife, man, letting this dog in and out. Hold on. Okay, anyways. So this here, uh, you do have the uh, ability, uh, there's a port here, actually I got the cover downstairs, but uh, you can actually plug in uh, an external mic on here and get better audio quality. Now, these lapel mics, I don't know how waterproof they are, uh, but I'm sure if you kind of bury it, I'm sure you know you can utilize a lapel mic in the rain. Uh, I've never tried it. Maybe that's something I do, uh, especially when we're in rainy weather, to bring this. Uh, so anyways, uh, we'll be doing more with this camera, I'm sure, as uh, the summer goes, because uh, we are doing a kayaking trip, uh, a multi-day uh, kayaking trip, so uh, this will definitely be coming along. Real quick, tripods. Uh, this is one little tripod I use. It's uh, one I picked up on Amazon. It says Camera. I don't even know the name brand on this. It's a. It's kind of like a, a knockoff Gorilla Pad or a Gorilla Pod tripod, whatever. Same thing. You got the the bendable flexi thing. You got all these accessories. You can uh, attach this. Uh, attach your phone with a clamp like this, uh, or you have the spring loaded uh, uh, doohickey right here, where you can actually attach uh, the camera uh, like so. This thing has proven to be great, uh, and it's inexpensive, and it works. Uh, I want to say it's like 20 bucks. 
uh, and it's fairly lightweight too. I gotta get my dog, man, because holy cow, hold on. So that's kind of like the stuff that I have right now, uh, what I've been using. Now, after uh, I decided I needed something more than the uh, Samsung, uh, something more than the uh, GoPro, uh, it was uh, sort of a hard decision of what camera to get. Um, and there's a lot of them out there. Uh, they have a lot of uh, 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 cameras that have the front-facing screens on the front, which is great for vlogging because you can actually see uh, what, uh, what you're recording. Uh, but it's also a catch-22 because a lot of t people tend to look at that screen and not into the camera too. So I didn't want something like that. But it, it's one of those things you wish you had, but you kind of wish you don't have. So I, I don't know. That's up to debate. So... Uh, I first purchased the Canon uh, uh, EOS 6. I think it's a 6i or something like that. Uh, and I'll show you a picture of that. Awesome camera. Uh, loved it. Uh, but the big thing about the camera was its size. Uh, you know, when I'm using a selfie stick, trying to balance a, a DSLR on there proved to be just awkward <laughs> and, and it's a big camera uh it, it, it's a lot different than trying to walk around with a selfie stick with something like this or even your phone okay um but the 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 video quality was amazing loved it loved it but again the bulkiness of it and uh, i started doing more research and ultimately after uh, owning that uh, particular camera for a week i returned it and purchased the camera that i'm shooting on right now which i'll show you right now Okay guys, this is the Sony A6000 camera. Uh, this is primarily the camera that I uh, uh, shoot with uh, right now. The upgrades that I've made, if you can kind of see in the back here, one of these, uh, uh, the big thing is it has an indented uh, record button. This is an aftermarket uh, piece that uh, you just screw on to the uh, uh, strap eyelet here and you can actually now uh, very lightly uh, record and uh, uh, stop recording without uh, having to dig your finger inside of there. Uh, I also have, this is the Sony, um, well this is the dead cat that's on here that I bought. This is an aftermarket dead cat but it's a, uh, a Sony external mic that it's a hot shoe mic basically. So what, what it is is, I don't know if I can kind of, maybe see if I can slide this up. So this is a hot shoe uh, for the Sony camera. And then basically this thing uh, just slides in here. And you can actually put multiple uh, different accessories on there. But the disadvantage of the Sony camera is the fact that uh, it has no external audio uh, output. Uh, so you cannot attach a microphone. So what you do is you purchase this uh, hot shoe mic, and then again, it just attaches on here, and then you're good to go. The little lens uh, protector right here, I just bought that. This is a cheap aftermarket one. This is more or less to protect the camera when I'm uh, filming in the woods uh, from branches and stuff. Uh, and again, the cool thing with this, um, let's see if I can... There we go. So again, it's a mirrorless camera. You can purchase multiple lenses for this. And we'll kind of get that back out. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. There we go, clicks on. So this camera, this was the camera that I used uh, on my uh, Lower Highlands hike and a lot of the videos that I've recently done. Love the camera, a lot of options on there. Uh, and it is sitting on a, uh, this is a, Dolicha, I believe, uh, uh, tripod. Uh, this was purchased on Amazon. I'll put a link to this. This thing is awesome because it does come apart. Um, you can see here, there's a uh, uh, little indicator here. This leg comes out and you can actually put the ball mount attachment on this and now you have a selfie stick. So it's, a, it's kind of a two-in-one kind of purpose for me. Uh, because I can use uh, this as a tripod and also as a selfie stick. And it's it's very, very lightweight. So uh, there's my ridiculous light here that I use for shooting indoors. Because um, I think it makes my face look pretty. No? You know? Maybe not. So anyways, guys, I hope that kind of gives you an insight of what I've been using over the past year. 
Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of camera equipment, uh, but I still utilize, like I said, every one of those cameras uh, in different situations. So, but I appreciate you guys watching. I didn't want to make it this long, but uh, like I said, it's had a ton of stuff. Uh, but uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, uh, again, just leave them down below. I'll try to answer uh, as many as I can. Actually, I answer them all. What am I saying? I will answer them all. Uh, but anyways, uh, again, I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Thanks.